it is your girl Jay. Welcome back to the video. And um, let me adjust some light here. Let me see if I can get a little bit more light in here so y'all can see me. Um, I am coming to you today um, with an update on the tire. And I want to say thank you to those that have probably prayed for your girl because y'all know I was frustrated. Um, Goodyear wanted $358 for a brand new tire. And they said that the tire could not be repaired. Okay, so keep that in mind. Okay, so um, after that, I was kind of frustrated, so I let it go. So I'm, it, it's just a little story time. Get right into it, and then I'm going to share what I'm working on um, this week. And I am recording a video for what I'm working on. So I will share that with you guys sometime over the weekend or maybe Monday. So with that said, it's a big old fly. It just came in here. Um, hold on, you guys. Okay, family, I thought I was recording. I was talking the whole time, and I was not. <sighs> so, back to the story. <coughs> I'm still under the weather. My supervisor is scratching on the door, and I'm just about fed up with him today. So, I kicked him out of the office because I ain't got time. I don't feel like being bothered with him today. <laughs> anyway, I was telling y'all the tire story and thanking you guys for um, praying for me because this is the story. I'm going to try to make the story quick and short and then I'm going to get to what I'm working on uh, for the week and hopefully have it finished by Sunday or Monday. Um, it's June and my daughter is due June 25th so I just want to have it done in case I need to do some alterations or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But anyway y'all, here goes the story. So, Okay, I kept having underinflated tire issues. And so something said, take your car up to Goodyear because you have a warranty on your tires. And uh, yeah, they should be able to check them and let you know what's going on. So I, that's what I did. So I went up there, I told y'all the whole story, and they told me that it couldn't be repaired and they wanted me to pay $358 for a brand new tire. So anyway, I was discouraged about that and that's where y'all came in at. Okay, and so what I did was um, I went home and I prayed myself and stuff like that. Before I even asked y'all to pray, I prayed. You know, I was like, oh, God, I don't know what to do because I I don't have 358 for one tire. You know, I could be doing something else with that money. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, I was a little discouraged and uh, my son was like, I was talking to him. No, what he did was, see, I'm still confused because I'm still under the weather, y'all, and I'm not feeling well. But anyway, he was like, Mom, you got some tires in the garage, don't you? And I was like, yeah, I do. I can use those. So I was going to take those two tires. Um, he said, you can go to Mr. P's and have them put on. Mr. P's is a well-known tire place here in Milwaukee. And so I was like, yeah, okay. But they told me they couldn't do Mitch Mac because of drivetrain or whatever. You know, that's what Goodyear. Because I asked Goodyear, could they do it? So I called them first and they was like, nah, we ain't going to do that. So I was like, okay, Mr. P's it is. So today, this day that I'm recording the video on Friday, I took my car up to... Um, Mr. P's, they told me it would be $65 to mount and balance the tires. So I went up there, put the tires in my car this morning, went up there, and the guy was taking the tire off, and he looked at it, he was like, ma'am, you don't need to put on these other tires that you have in your car. We could plug this. It could be prepared. Good year. Mm-hmm. Can't be repaired. Anyway. So the guy plugged the tire, short story, $27. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your prayers. And um, God comes through because he know I didn't want to pay no $358. I didn't want to pay the $65. So it was $27 and my car has air and has the tires plugged and so forth. So what I'm working on, so thank you guys. What I'm working on this week is the Nicole pattern and it is 7875 and we're going to be and you're going to see I realized that when I ran out of fabric I was like why am I running out of fabric it's just big but I cut the long version and I'm going to see if my daughter still wants me 
to keep it long or if I need to cut it off and make it short. So because I was going to use the other fabric to make a blanket, I still have enough to make a receiving blanket, but uh, we'll see. And so I do have the lapels done and I have the belt done already. And I planned on working on the rest of the parts today. So I hope to have, and I am recording that video. So um, hopefully I will have a video up this weekend if I'm feeling okay. If not, it may be Monday that I have the video up or whatever, just in case, because I know I do have <clears throat> someone coming over for a sewing lesson today. Why I said yes, I, I, I think I said yes and I was feeling okay then, but I haven't canceled it. So, uh, you know, I'm going to take some day quill and hopefully that will relieve some of the body aches that I'm having and some of the uh, coughing that's going on. Um, so that's why my voice sounds so different and maybe why my personality might not be showing through. But, uh, yeah, because your girl is under the weather. But she's still going to keep it moving. I got my son outside cutting the grass because I was too tired to do it because I was, I'm sick. So I was too tired to be cutting the grass myself. I didn't have this trip. And, and my supervisor still don't, he don't care. So I had to take him for a walk this morning. Um, yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't care whether I'm sick or not. He just wants to go for his work. And, yeah. So if you're thinking about getting a dog, remember that. I told you. Okay? They don't care about nothing. They don't care about no rain. No nothing. He be walking around here moping because he want to go out for a walk and it be pouring down rain. And he don't care if I go. And, you know, with the weather changing and stuff like that, those are ways that I get sick too. But I ain't here to keep y'all long. I just wanted to share the short testimony of how God answered my prayer and how he works and even in the small things um, he does what he does and in the big things he does even greater so with that said you guys I will see y'all in the completed video because I am recording this not the whole thing but I'm recording parts different parts of it and I will see y'all in the next one take care until then thank you for supporting me I love you guys. I appreciate you. Keep on liking. Keep on leaving comments. And let's get to that thousand, y'all. Let's get there. Let's get there. Let's get to that four thousand watch out. So that means y'all got to watch the videos all the way through. Don't be skipping. Don't be skipping to get to the end of it. Okay? If you want to see the whole thing, just let it play. Okay? Let it play so I can get some watch out. That's how we do this around here in these YouTube streets. Okay? So... I'll see y'all later. Have a great weekend.